Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica and today I'm doing my third update for my Pan That palette for 2018, the Marc Jacobs Style Icon palette in Lolita. If you've missed the rest of my updates or if you're new to this video, I'll go ahead and link the playlist up below. And excuse how messy this palette looks, I didn't have time to actually clean it off before this video. But before we jump into what my palette looks like right now, let's take a look at what my palette has looked like through the past introduction and two updates. Okay, and this is what my palette looks like right now. So my goal for the month of March was to hit pan on this shade right here and to get a little bit more of a dip in this dark brown shade. Unfortunately, I did not hit pan in this light brown shade like I wanted to, but I do have a sizable dip. I can see like an actual dig in the product let me see if i can zoom it in so there is a dig right there that you can see so i think if i keep continuing to use that shade i should hit pan in a couple of days or maybe a week or two it is very close though i did expand the pan a little bit on this bright cream shade right here i've actually been trying not to use it as much i found myself like not wanting to use up the whole shadow right away which I need to get away from that. I should just go ahead and finish it up if I want to use it. So I'm going to go ahead and try to finish that up in April. It's one of my goals. I don't have as much of a dip in the dark brown shade as I was like. The only ways I've really been using it are in my brows, on the outer corner to deepen up a look, and then also on the lower lash line. If you have any other suggestions for how to go through like a dark shade like this, please let me know. I would like to hear some more like opinions and suggestions. Another shade I don't really have a dip in is this like middle shimmer shade. I'm wearing it on my lid today and really that's the only way I can wear it. It's really tightly pressed, it's really glittery and I can only really wear it on my lid. So I am struggling with the shade right there in the middle. I did expand the pan a little bit on this next shade that I've been using as a highlighter and then I'm very near to hitting pan on the next shade which is one of the shimmer shades towards the end right here. I don't know if you can see the dip right there in the pan but I wore that all over my lid the other day and it was stunning. I absolutely loved it there and I actually tried using it as a highlight. I'm wearing it as a highlight today and I thought it would be too dark as a highlight on my skin tone but it's actually stunning so i have been using it as a highlight that's why the pan like or the sh palette around it is so dirty because i've been using it like that um and then this last shade right here i've been using it to deepen up my outer v and use a little bit on the lower lash line but i'm not finding as much use for it as i am the rest of the shades what i'm learning so far from this project is that i tend to like all-in-one face palettes like I like having one place I can go to to finish up the rest of my face and that with eyeshadows I like having like my basics transition my basic like primer set shade in one spot but then I really like to shop for color which is what I was going for in this project anyway so I did try this light shade like as a bronzer and it didn't look bad like I wore it once just with like a darker foundation so I do want to try it out a couple more times just to see if I can use it as a bronzer because it is like a nice light brown shade I do like how creative this project is making me get I am finding so many other uses for these shadows than what like I previously thought possible so unfortunately I didn't hit my pan goal for this month but I am still working hard at it. I do for the month of April want to hit pan on this brown shade right here definitely and I want to try to hit pan on the shimmer shade right down here. I'm not sure how realistic it is for me to try to hit pan on the brown shade since it is one of my more difficult shades and I'm really only using it for my brows and for liner. But that is where I am right now and where I am trying to work to for April. Oh, and another update, I actually like broke the clasp. So if you've ever had a Marc Jacobs palette, you know that like there's a clasp here in the front and that it closes in and then you press this little button to open it up. It doesn't actually close anymore. It just kind of like, it doesn't snap. 
it just kind of does that um so i don't know if it's because i've just been using it too often and i've worn like the clasp out but it doesn't actually close anymore so that's unfortunate um but otherwise the packaging is still nice i do need to clean this normally i clean it before every update but i'm trying to get this up before you know oh my god i cannot believe that it's already april so i'm just trying to get this update up and let you know where i am right now um, but it is very easy to clean so it isn't too difficult to get it to look nice again it doesn't stain which is nice it just takes a little bit of effort to clean the mirror and then clean in between all of the shadows so that is my third update for my pan that palette for 2018 don't forget to let me know down below if you're panning a palette for 2018 and how that is going so far i can i literally can't believe it's already april and that we're oh my god soon we're gonna be halfway through the year that's insane to me i i it felt like yesterday like it was new year's like it's it's been crazy so as always if you like pan that palette and you want to see all my updates in the future don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe and when you subscribe don't forget to hit the little bell icon so you're notified whenever i post a new video because for some reason whenever you hit subscribe you don't actually get notified <laughs> So don't forget to hit the bell icon so you can see either some updates or all updates whenever I post new videos. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you in my next one. Bye!